Hello. I'd like to know more about you, Solus. All right. What can I tell you? What made you start studying the Fade? I grew up in a village to the north. There was little to interest a young man, especially one gifted with magic. But as I slept, spirits of the Fade showed me glimpses of wonders I had never imagined. They treasured my dreams. Being awake, out of the Fade, became troublesome. Did spirits try to tempt you? No more than a brightly colored fruit is deliberately tempting you to eat it. I learned how to defend myself from more aggressive spirits, and how to interact safely with the rest. I learned how to control my dreams with full consciousness. There was so much I wanted to explore. I gather you didn't spend your entire life dreaming. No. Eventually, I was unable to find new areas in the Fade. Why? Two reasons. First, the Fade reflects the world around it. Unless I traveled, I would never find anything new. Second, the Fade reflects and is limited by our imaginations. To find interesting areas, one must be interesting. Is this why you joined the Inquisition? I joined the Inquisition because we were all in terrible danger. If our enemies destroy the world, I would have nowhere to lay my head while dreaming of the Fade. I wish you luck. Thank you. In truth, I've enjoyed experiencing more of life to find more of the Fade. How so? You train your will to control magic and withstand possession. Your indomitable focus is an enjoyable side benefit. You have chosen a path whose steps you do not dislike because it leads to a destination you enjoy. As have I. Indomitable focus? Presumably. I have yet to see it dominated. I imagine that the sight would be fascinating. <laughs> you said you traveled to many different places. This world, or its memory, is reflected in the Fade. Dream in ancient ruins, and you may see a city lost to history. Some of my fondest memories were found in crumbling cities, long picked dry by treasure seekers, the best of the battlefields. Spirits press so tightly on the veil that you can slip across with but a thought. Any place in particular? I dreamt at Ostagar. I witnessed the brutality of the Darkspawn and the valor of the Ferelden warriors. I saw Alistair and the hero Ferelden light the signal fire, and Loghain's infamous betrayal of Caelan's forces. I've heard the stories. It would be interesting to hear what it was really like. That's just it. In the Fade, I see reflections created by spirits who react to the emotions of the warriors. One moment, I see heroic wardens lighting the fire and a power-mad villain sneering as he lets King Caelan fall. The next, I see an army overwhelmed and a veteran commander refusing to let more soldiers die in a lost cause. And you can't tell which is real? It is the Fade. They are all real. Have you always traveled and studied alone? Not at all. I have built many lasting friendships. Spirits of wisdom, possessed of ancient knowledge, happy to share what they had seen. Spirits of purpose helped me search. Even wisps, curious and playful, would point out treasures I might have missed. I don't know of any spirits by those names. They rarely seek this world. When they do, their natures do not often survive exposure to the people they encounter. Wisdom and purpose are too easily twisted to pride and desire. You're saying that you became friends with Pride and Desire demons? They were not demons for me. Meaning? The Fade reflects the minds of the living. If you expect a spirit of wisdom to be a Pride demon, it will adapt. And if your mind is free of corrupting influences, if you understand the nature of the spirit, they can be fast friends. You trust these spirits not to possess you the first time you accidentally make a wish? Trust your friends not to turn on you? Well, yes, but they're people. Ah, of course. You know what I mean. Are people only people because they are flesh and blood? Is Cassandra defined by her cheekbones and not her fate? Varric by his chest hair and not his wit?
You have an interesting way of looking at the world, Solus. I try. And that isn't quite an answer. I look forward to helping you make new friends. That should be... well. That isn't quite an answer, either. We'll talk later.